The VI Package Manager automates the handling and installation of VI toolsets. It is still possible to do all the tasks manually in LabVIEW, but it is much more convenient to let the Package Manager handle it for you. This drop-down list lets you choose between LabVIEW versions, should you have more than one installed. There's a lot of other stuff, but I will go directly to the Package Builder, which lets you set up where each VI will be installed. When you use the Package Builder, make sure that your files are saved. It may ask you to close your files when compiling a package, but closing the files will not let you save any changes. The Package Builder for the KV Store is located in the Build directory. Opening the file, we're presented with the Build Information page, where you can set the root directory of your files and where the finished package goes. The toolbar has a drop-down list as well, with LabVIEW versions, where you can choose the intended target for your package. The Display Information page lets you set the meta information of your package, as does the Description page. The Palettes page is where things start to get interesting. You can make different palette sets for different applications, but I have only made one. A custom category is useful if, for example, you have many packages that you want to put in their own place. The Add Palette to Library or Class option supposedly lets you add the palette to context-sensitive menus, but I could not get this to work. Besides, it's not included in the free version. I will address this in the next video. The Functions Palette option is where I have added the Block Diagram Palette. Right-clicking on an icon or empty space in the palette gives you different options for setting up the palette. For some reason, LabVIEW primitives don't show any text. I don't have any front panel widgets, so the Controls Palette option is left unchecked. The Destinations page lets you set where all your files will go. Most of the files go inside the directory set for Toolkit VIs. I have not bothered with putting the examples anywhere, so the examples directory is left as it is. Same with custom probes. I have changed the custom errors directory to the one where user-defined errors are supposed to go. The rest of the destinations are left unchanged. Under Source File Settings, in my Errors directory, I have this file kverrors.txt. It contains my own errors defined for the package, and it goes into the Custom Errors directory, which I set under Destinations. The rest of the Error VIs and the Build and Source directories are excluded since they're not needed. The Unculite homepage VI goes to the help menu. I don't have much to say right now about the pages in the advanced category, other than you may want to check the options on the install requirements page and maybe change the name of your package. When you have worked with your package for a while, the package versions may stack up a bit. The package manager keeps a history of versions, which you can erase by right-clicking on the package and choose the appropriate remove option.